Hello Sigmas. We had learned to center of mass, but we never looked into an example explaining how to find the center of mass of a body. And hence today I am here with this very interesting example. And the reason uh, why this uh, uh, example is so interesting is because over here we have a rectangular plate. Now that is not at all interesting, right? But this example is interesting because this is not a uniform rectangular plate. That is the mass of uh, this uh, rectangular plate is uh, not uniformly distributed throughout the body of the rectangular plate. That is, let's say the mass over here is M mass density. We have to speak of the mass density. That is the mass per unit area. Why area? Because this is a two-dimensional body. And hence, we have to speak of area. So the mass per unit area over here is not equal to the mass per unit area over here, over here, or over here. They are different at different spots. And uh, how does the mass per unit area vary? Now you know that the mass per unit area we is uh, defined uh, as a sigma. So here sigma varies like this: sigma naught x y upon a v. Where this a and b is nothing but the length and the breadth of this rectangular plate. And hence, and this x and y is nothing but the coordinates of a point. So if I draw, I have to draw a coordinate system over here. So if I draw my coordinate system like in this manner, okay, this is my x coordinate and this is my y coordinate then my origin is obviously uh, situated over there. And then if we have a point x comma y on this plate in this uh, having a coordinate x comma y, then the mass per unit area, which is its a mass density at that point is given by this sigma. So how do you find the center of mass of such a body? For that, you need to know what the definition of center of mass is. And I hope you have watched my videos on center of mass. Otherwise, you would definitely not understand what I'm going to teach you in this video. I'm going to put the link into the uh, description. So do check it out right before you watch this video. So first watch the, my video on center of mass and then come back and watch this one completely. Okay, so we know that the definition of center of mass uh, coordinates, uh, that is the position vector of the center of mass is equal to 1 upon n integral. Now the sensor, this is a two-dimensional body. We are going to have something known as the surface integral because this uh, body is just a surface. So we are going to have a surface integral times uh, R dm. Now this R, as you will remember from my previous videos, is just the position vector of this elemental mass dm. Here, now you are free to choose whatever elemental mass you want to choose or whatever shape, but here we are going to choose a rectangular elemental mass because our body is rectangular. So it is always better to have uh, elemental mass which is, looks similar to the bigger mass, the entire body, right? So if I, let's say I consider a small element, rectangular elemental mass over here, having length of dx and width of dy, then this r is nothing but the position vector of this rectangular element. This is what R is. The position vector of dm, this rectangular element has a mass dm. And hence what we would get over here is that dm is obviously going to be equal to sigma times dx into dy, right? Mass per unit area, which is dm. Mass per unit area multiplied by the area of that element that we have considered is obviously dx into d by length into breadth, let's say area of a rectangle. So what you are going to get is 1 upon m, r, let me call it uh, x i cap, 
plus yj cap times dm is sigma dx dy. So this is the position vector. So I have just written R like that, and you know position vectors can be written in that manner. There's no great surprise in that. Now you will notice that we do not really know the mass of that rectangular plate. So let us find it out. And how do you find the mass of a rectangular plate? It is nothing but the surface integral of sigma dx dy. That is what the mass of the rectangular plate will be. It is going to be uh, the surface integral of sigma. Similarly, if it was a three dimensional body, then the mass would have been the volume integral of rho. But here we have a two dimensional body, so the mass of that entire body is just the surface integral of sigma. And we already know what the sigma is. Sigma is uh, xy upon ab dx dy and the limits obviously go for x it will go from 0 to a because that's the length of the rectangle and uh, with the corner at the origin so it uh, this as you can see is going from the origin to this a and similarly for the y it will be from the origin to this point b. So this limits obviously go from 0 to a and this one y's limits go from 0 to b. So while a b is constant so I can just take it out of the integral and I will be left with 0 to b and I'm going to integrate x with respect to dx uh, to get so the y will come out. Integrating x with respect to dx will just give me x square upon 2. And there was obviously an uh, sigma naught which I forgot to write. So there was a sigma naught over here. As you can see, sigma is equal to sigma naught x y upon a b. So there was a sigma naught like uh, dy is left because I've already integrated x square x uh, and this will go from 0 to a so that I will get sigma naught upon a b a square by 2 integral 0 to b y d y and then what we'll get is sigma naught upon a b a square by 2 similarly the integral of y will give me b square so that i'm going to get sigma naught a b divided by 4 as my total mass of that rectangular plate so if you know the mass density of a body, you can find its uh, total mass by simply doing the surface integral, the volume integral or line integral depending upon what dimensional the body is. If it is a one dimensional body, you're going to do a line integral. If it is a two dimensional body, you're going to do a surface integral. And if it is a three dimensional body, you're going to do a volume integral. So now since we know uh, what the total mass of a body is, we know this, right? We know this m. And now we have to find this integral. So I'm going to divide this integral into two. Uh, you know that I can write uh, this integral. Uh, what I can do is I can take this sigma dx or dy. I can multiply it to x and then I'm going to multiply it to y uh, so that I get equal to 1 upon n integral or uh, double integral of uh, so I will take that uh, sigma dx dy inside to give me x sigma dx dy i cap plus y sigma dx dy j cap d uh, x dy so i can write that integral in this manner i've not done anything but just multiplied sigma dx dy inside the bracket to give me two terms now what i'm going to do is uh, i am going to divide the integral now so that it gives me the double integral of 
एक्स सिग्मा डी एक्स बी वाई इस एंटायर टर्म इनटू आई कैप प्लस आई एम गोइंग टू गेट अ वाई सिग्मा डी एक्स डी वाई एंड द डबल इंटीग्रल ऑफ़ दिस जे कैप so I have not done anything but taken divided the integrals among the two brackets to give me two terms. And now I am going to solve these two integrals separately. I am going to call the first integral as x and I am going to call the second integral as y. That is because just like any other position vector center of mass coordinates is also a position vector and hence we can always write it like this x times i cap plus capital y times j cap right and we can write any vector in this manner in terms of its component in the uh, x and y directions and hence for what we are going to do is find x first so if you try to find x then x is just this integral right yeah this mass is not going to be there i'm simply going to write it in this manner as x i cap plus y j cap so i have to also multiply this uh, capital m inside the brackets along with the integral so i can write a uh, capital x uh, which is the x coordinate or the x component of the center of mass uh, position vector as uh, this Right, this is how we had defined it, and then just solve this integral. Uh, the limits obviously again go from a zero to a, and from zero to b. So I will get zero to b, zero to a, x times so sigma was sigma naught x y upon a b dx dy. So I can take the terms which are constant outside the integral to get zero to b y zero to a x square I will get dx dy right. I'm going to solve this integral first, the one inside the bracket. So that it gives me sigma. This is sigma naught. So sigma naught upon m a b and then zero to b. Y that will obviously give me x cube upon uh, three from zero to a dy, and hence I will have uh, sigma naught upon m a b. I will get uh, a cube upon three. If I uh, solve this, I just substitute the upper limit. I will get a cube upon three integral zero to b y dy. Right and the integral this we have already solved and that will give us sigma naught upon m a b into a cube upon 3 times d square upon 2. Right, if you solve this integral you are going to get d square upon 2. We have already done that while finding the mass of that rectangular plate. And here the a will get cancelled, there will be a square left, this b will get cancelled. And then I can substitute sigma m. I can substitute m. M was uh, what? Where is m? Here. Yeah. M is here. So m was sigma naught a b upon four. I'm just going to substitute that. So sigma naught divided by sigma naught a b uh, divided by four multiplied by a square upon three. Multiplied by b by 2. This b and this b will get cancelled. This a and this a gets cancelled. This 2 will cancel with this. So this is 2. Sigma naught will cancel and I will get 2 by 3 a i can. Oh, this is just the component. So I'm going to get 2 by 3 a and that is my x component of the center of mass. Now, in a very similar fashion, if you solve for the y component, right, if you solve uh, the integral, 
for the y component you are going to get 2 by 3 b and I leave that as a homework because the method to solve for y is exactly the same like how I have solved for x. In fact, the integrals are also exactly the same except for this b will remain instead of a. So that I am leaving as a homework. It is a good exercise for you to actually test yourself whether you have understood what I have taught in this video or not. So do try it out for 100% otherwise if you do not solve this by yourself you are not going to learn physics. Physics is learned by problem solving and by doing the homeworks which I am going to give you and this is one of them. You have to solve for the y coordinate and see that you are getting exactly this. And if you are getting exactly that, congratulations, you have understood the concept of center of mass and now you can find center of mass of uh, any such two-dimensional body. So that was all about the uh, center of mass of a rectangular plate and as you can see, this was a really, really interesting problem because here you learn how to find surface integrals and if you want to me to make more such interesting videos, do subscribe to my channel and do not forget to like this video. I will see you in the next video with the most such interesting physics problems and concepts. Thank you for watching.